So the problem with wild edible plants is not so much the lack of availability of plants. Pretty much I can be pretty much guaranteed put them in any location in New South Wales um, I'll find potentially edible plants. Problem more is you know pollution and the council spray and stuff. Uh, so the idea here is not to go into depth, not to, to go into detail, just kind of like do a scan and just look at some of the potentially useful plants and just in this one kind of short, relatively small area and a really short walk. Um, so this one we're looking at, Cupaniopsis anacodinides, uh, Tuckaroo. Uh, it does have an edible fruit, used quite a lot in gardening and horticulture. And unfortunately we had a willow down there, but somebody chopped it down. That's a great plant to talk about, okay? Uh, lots of medicinal and crafting uses for that one. Uh, Lantana camara, you're not really an Australian until you know what Lantana is. Has a lot of potential uses. Uh, it's real use, I'm a bit of a student of permaculture and one of its real uses is a soil conditioner. Um, so if we cleared all that away and we planted some fruit trees, uh, we'd have quite a nice soil. Um, down here, Bidus pelosa, you'll find this almost everywhere. Member of the Asteraceae family, or Daisy family. Uh, has medicinal uses and is an edible. Uh, paperback tree, Melilica quinquinevia. Uh, quite a lot of uses for that, probably around about sort of 15 to 20 uses for that one tree. Um, heading on a little bit down the track. Got a few Solanums here. Solanum, this one's got a shiny fit. This one looks like Solanum Americanum. And then if we go a bit further down, there's actually quite a few of them. I think Solanum Negri is down here when I was looking. Um, down there, you probably won't quite pick it up with the blue flower. Comalina sciatica, okay, um, or scurvy weed. Uh, we've got a feral tomato here, which is fair game as far as I'm concerned. Somebody obviously eat, ate the sandwich, there was a bit of tomato, and the seeds self seeded there. Um, same genus, okay, as the Solanum negri. And further down, Modiola caliniana looking there. Uh, Rumex Sagittarius, they are all edible. Morbidus pelosa, uh, Morsolanum, uh, not really useful, but you, something you need to know about Triscantia fluminescence if you're going to harvest this one, which is Comalina sciatica. Um, looks like a wild tobacco bush there coming up and has a few potential uses, not really that useful. Um, Rumex crispin, I think that is there, just one leaf visible. And a little bit of flour. Uh, paper bark again. That's way too much to get into for a short video like this. Um, Mountain Bay Chestnut or Cardo Spurnum Australi. That's a great tree to talk about. Lots of indigenous Australian use and a lot of history behind that tree. Great tree. Um, come down the other side. Quite wet at the moment as you can see by the look. Uh, we've got some Axalis there. More Bidus pelosa. That's everywhere. Oh, some dandelion here. Yeah, there we go. Taraxium officiale dandelion. Yeah. Uh, yeah, old dandelion. Um, Argentine Anophoro. I think, or Crofton weed, I think this one is. Um, not that useful as far as I'm aware. It really gets up my nose. Um, uh, it's sort of one of these things that's sort of not good for livestock and horses and cattle and stuff. Um, more useful plant here, this looks like natural lepus cornifolia. Okay, we'd pick that up and usually we'd find an edible tuba that you can eat. That's something I've been getting into quite recently. Um, plant that's not really used. Uh, I've researched this a lot. This is a uh, Ochna serrata or Mickey Mouse plant. Um, it's used in Zulu mes medicine a lot. Uh, in Zulu it's called Umbong vein. Uh, but I'm yet to verify whether it actually does have any medicinal effects. But one I'm constantly researching, okay. Um, but as far as I'm aware, it's just a weed that's not useful. Introduced from South Africa. Uh, another Melaleuca there. More Exalis. Um, so quite a few potentially useful plants. Edible, medicinal, crafting, soil conditioning, etc. Just in a little short video like this.